Now, we're showing you images from the People's Democratic Party Secretariat in the South-South in Bielsa State, to be exact, after news filtered in of the nullification of the governorship elect for Mr. David Lyon of the APC and his running mate, who are due to be sworn in in a ceremony less than 24 hours from now. That was food paid to by the judgment of the Supreme Court that held that that election was null and void, citing, amongst other things, certificate forgery on the part of the APC governorship candidate. And that led the court to decide that the next party with the highest number of votes constitutionally should be given the mandate of the governorship of Bielsa State. That happens to be the People's Democratic Party, where the present governor, who was supposed to relinquish uh, or hand over from the 14th or step down from the 14th of February, Seriake Dixon will have done so to the APC candidate, but now it appears he'll be doing to, so to a member of his own party, the People's Democratic Party. And now let's take a look at the legal impl implications or angles of the judgment. We are joined from our Abuja studios by a lawyer, Frank Tete. Thank you for joining us on News Across Nigeria. Thank you, my pleasure. Now, a very surprising judgment delivered today made all the more dramatic because David Lan was due to be sworn in tomorrow. But the Supreme Court has said no to that. What's your immediate reaction? Uh, well, you know, Nigerians are yet to recover from the confusing judgment that the Supreme Court delivered with regards to Imo. Uh, gubernatorial election, which, has, uh, which declared Uho Puzodima as uh, governor as against all uh, reasoning, reasoning. And now, uh, again, while they are, Nigerians are reeling from that uh, surprising decision, uh, more, it appears more confusion has been added into the polity by this decision of the Supreme Court. Uh, you cannot, as a court of justice, a court that is supposed to uh, deliver justice and uh, give a semblance of truth, now create a situation that is com more confusing when you n nullify, throw away the popular mandate of the people simply on the ground of technicality. We, 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 are, we are in a country where you actually do not need a certificate to contest an election. It is sufficient if you are able to speak, understand, read and write the English language. That qualifies you to run an election. To, to, to participate in an election as a candidate. And then to think that uh, they, they when pieces of information in a particular form that is submitted to INEC, uh, it seems to be in, they say incongruent. There is uh, that there are discrepancies on that basis, not even for that of the governor, not that of David Lyon, but his deputy. On that basis, will now nullify an election, a, a, I mean, a very expensive election that is an expression of the will of the people of Bayelsa. I, I think there's something really faulty here. I, I, my immediate reaction is this: when, when, when you look at the provisions of Section 30 which gives ample time to all of the participants, the sponsoring political parties, or whether they are in opposition or they are contesting, and INEC itself, to determine the qualification of the candidates that are presented. You do not, at the level of after an election has been co concluded, then nullify that election on the flimsy basis of an information contained in a, in a document submitted. But legally quietly. speaking, you say it's, it's, you say it's flimsy. Here. Legally speaking, is it flimsy? Flimsy, according to the law, is that, ground, is that a, not is, enough grounds to nullify an election? Whether or not it's at the 23rd hour or the, the 11th hour, or the last hour, is, not, is it not enough grounds? We're talking about the Supreme Court here. It is trite law that the Supreme Court itself has venerated the idea of not truncating justice, not sacrificing justice on the altar of technicalities. You cannot defeat the will of the people. You cannot defeat the essence of democracy and the will of the constitution by a technicality that, is, that, that, that leaves uncertainty. Now, who owns the certificate that is said to be forged? Sorry who to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt that, you, look, Mr. 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 Tete. Sorry yes. to interrupt you. According to law, is it not grounds enough to nullify the election? According to law, you're a lawyer. In my own, in my own humble view, 
And with the precedence of the Supreme Court, I do not think that that is sufficient. It does not serve the cost of I'm not asking what you think, sir. I'm asking whether, the, whether the law says so. Simply on that ground, I think no. it's technicality. I'm not asking what you think. I'm asking what the law says. You're speaking as a lawyer. Whether or not it's expensive or it's at the 11th hour. Technicality is not sufficient. It is okay. not sufficient okay. to grant. Now, I, I will base it on. No, 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 wait. I'll base it on the provision of Section 31, which gives ample time to anybody after INEC has published the, 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 the provisions, that has published the, 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 the information in the, in the forms that have been submitted to, to it. Now, every person does have, any member of the public does have the right to approach the court to challenge the information contained in those pieces of information. The position is this. You do you, you have to do that before the election. You don't have Shin, to allow an to, you. to be concluded and then persons to, to be sworn in. You mentioned that earlier, so let me move on to my next question. Sorry. How do you think, if you can hear me, let's move on to the next question because of time. Now this has happened, how do you think, how will this affect the APC, the All Progressives Congress? Is there any coming back from this? Or oh, that's it? I do not think so. Whether you like it or not, it's the Supreme Court decision. It is final in, the, in, in, in every sense of it. What we are saying is that some decisions should promote uh, a sense of justice. People should uh, are not, are not create uh, a sense of confusion in the polity. In this case, I think technicality has been taken too far, and decisions in the Supreme Court oftentimes do not follow certain laid-down precedents, but are based on what the, the justices think. And we think, with, uh, with utmost respect, that this decision will not serve the cause of justice but has simply added to the confusion in the polity, and we hope that this does not repeat itself. We had ample time. That's where we leave the, it. The, the, the Thank you, Mr. Frank. I yes, yes. had ample time to have resolved this before they, they, they throw away the mandate of the people. Thank you so much for your opinion on this, Master Mr. Frank Tete from Bayelsa State, speaking, beg your pardon, on the Bayelsa State governorship election where Mr. David Lyons' election has been nullified by the Supreme Court. You're watching news across Nigeria. That's where we leave it. I'm Olumide Mukoli. Thanks for watching.